In the last video, I talked about how I am a huge proponent of manual time trackers. Well, today I'm going to talk about why I use an automatic time tracker, Rescue Time, and how that fits into my workflow and it allows me to get more work done in less time, which is just, you know, all around great. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Kelly. I'm a father of six children. I'm a software developer at Rescue Time and a Dean of Digital Campus at Signal University. And on this channel, I talk about productivity tips for dads. Today I'm talking about one of my favorite productivity applications, and it's not just because I work for the company and help develop it, and that is Rescue Time. Before jumping into how I use it and why I find it so helpful in my daily routine, let's just give a bit of an overview of what Rescue Time is for those of you who haven't heard of it. It's a simple little menu bar application on Mac OS, or I guess a taskbar application on Windows if you choose to go that route, but why would you? Once it's set up and running, it'll take over the time tracking aspect for you. It'll keep track of everything you do on your computer. It'll track the apps, it'll track the document names, it'll track the websites that you're visiting. And then at the end of the day or the week or whatever, you can run a whole bunch of reports on all sorts of information imaginable. Where the manual time tracking is great for me to get a just overall picture of how I'm spending my time, Rescue Time is very good at giving you a fine-grained appreciation of how you spend your time on the computer. But you wanna know what? There's a whole bunch of applications that do that, and I personally don't find that sort of thing too helpful. I don't really need to know what I'm doing down to the second on my computer. Instead, I need something that will help me be accountable and help me really just get more work done. And that's where Rescue Time shines. You see, Rescue Time allows you to classify any application or website as one of three different categories. It can either be considered as focused work, it can be considered as other work, or it can be considered as personal time. Now let's break each of these down a little bit in turn. Focus work, that is where you want to spend the core of your time. That's where you get the most bang for your buck work done. Me being a software developer working at Rescue Time means that this is primarily time spent in Xcode or time spent in Visual Studio. While they don't show up as frequently, it can also be time spent in Terminal or Tower or a number of other applications. That is where the core of my work happens. Okay, so if that's focus work, what is other work? Well, other work is kind of all your other work. This is kind of the communication tools. This can be email, this can be Slack, this can be messaging, this can be um, the support queue where I go through all support tickets and kind of triage them and get what I'm gonna work on, or it can be GitHub. These are all websites or applications that have legitimate use for work, but aren't where my core focus is as a software developer. Now, everyone's focused work applications will be different. If you are, say, a writer, you might be uh, focused in Microsoft Word or Google Docs or Ulysses or some other application. It doesn't need to be the software development stuff. And then personal time is just everything else, anything that is non-work related. By having these three classifiers, Rescue Time's reports becomes immensely more useful. I now have reports at the end of the day saying how much time I spent doing focused work. And this is where Rescue Time shines. Because of this feature alone, it allows me to get more work done in less time. Rescue Time can also connect to your calendars and figure out where you have meetings scheduled and by such, how much time you have left available in your day for doing that focused work. With all this useful data gathered, Rescue Time can give you a whole bunch of very useful reports at the end of every workday or work week. These reports include things like how much time you spent in a distracted state, such as doing personal time and where most of the time went, or more useful in my case of how much focus time I got done, how much time was I able to spend in my core applications as a software developer. And if my life gets a bit off the rails and I'm in way too many meetings and I can't get focused work done, Rescue Time will give me notifications for that saying, hey, you know, I have a ton of meetings scheduled for this one day. So it really helps me to keep an overall view of how balanced my life is between work and non-work and inside the work itself, how much time I'm spending in meetings and how much time I have available to spend on focused work. Now there are a whole bunch of other cool things built into Rescue Time, such as the ability to start a focus mode, which will block distracting websites and uh, help you stay in a focus state. And those are all great features. They're just not things I use too extensively, but let's move on to the more important thing and talk about how Rescue Time helps me to get more work done in less time. Every morning when I open up Rescue Time, the very first thing I see is a personalized focus work goal. Okay, so what's a focus work goal? Well, Rescue Time will look at my calendar and figure out how much time I have scheduled in meetings that day. Based on that, it'll create a recommendation of how much time Rescue Time thinks I should spend in focused work for the day. Yes, most people are paid to work eight hour days, but studies have shown that most knowledge workers get significantly less focused work done every day than that. In fact, 
it's usually under two hours a day. So a three hour focus goal is actually pretty good, especially for a day full of meetings or just other work such as communication or admin tasks. Anyway, right at the top of this system, I have a progress bar that slowly counts up throughout the day until I hit that three hour mark, which is fantastic and so motivating. I, as soon as I see that, want to dive right into Xcode and get as much work done and get that bar built up as quick as possible. But beyond that, Rescue Time will keep tabs on my calendar and send me notifications. Say it notices that I have two hours in between meetings, it'll send me a nudge saying, hey, you know, Kelly, you have two hours here free, dive in and get some folks work done now. Now's a great chance because the rest of the day, you're gonna be in meetings. Now you may be thinking to yourself that a three hour focus work goal is nothing. You can just sit in front of Xcode for three hours and just bang it out and be done first thing in the morning. Well, let me break it to you. That's probably not going to happen. If it does, great on you, that is fantastic. But the thing is, you might be surprised at how easy it is to get distracted or how much time you spend in meetings or communication tools such as Slack, just planning projects and not doing the core of your work. By having the Rescue Time Assistant available to me all day long in the menu bar, I can keep track of my focus work and it is so motivating to me to really want to fill up that progress bar every single day to just hit a streak as often as I can. And the fact that I have an application like Rescue Time keeping track of what I'm doing on the computer, what I'm actually doing, not just what I think I'm doing, because oftentimes those are two separate things, and can check on it in the menu bar whenever I want, has an increasing progress bar showing how far I'm reaching to my goal for the day, that is so encouraging. And then at the end of the day, when I see my progress report and I see that little ring all completely full up, I just want to get that the next day. I want to keep that streak going, kind of like those fitness rings on the Apple Watch. I'm sure there's more than a few of you who know what I'm talking about. So how does this fulfill my promise of getting more work done in less time? Well, you see, I work from home. I've always worked from home. Before I was an independent consultant, now I work full-time as an employee for Rescue Time. But I've always been in charge of my own hours, and I've always felt a bit guilty for this. I will sit in front of my computer more than eight hours a day, but the thing is, I still feel like I'm not giving enough to my either clients or my employer. I'm always thinking to myself, did I get distracted? Did I give them my all for that day? Well, having these progress bars and reports in the Rescue Time Assistant, I can say, oh, you know, I put in three hours of folks work today and that is above average. I feel great about that. And I'm inspired to try and get that done earlier the next day. And that means when it is time for me to take a break and step away from the computer or when I'm done for the day, I can really say to myself, I'm done for the day and not go back and do work in between times. And that's really great because it allows me to focus on whatever else is important to me in life and not just be constantly thinking, oh, I should get back to work. Okay, so final topic here. What about time tracking? Isn't that why I installed Rescue Time? Well, no, it isn't. I don't care about the minutia of details of how long I spent in a certain document or how long I spent on Twitter. Sure, I'd love that in the aggregate. If I look back at my weekly report and realize I spent 10 hours on Twitter, I know that I personally am doing something wrong. What I care instead about and what rescue time is good for me is helping me stay focused at work when I'm at work. So that when I'm at work, I can be fully at work. And when I'm supposed to be away from work, I can be present and in the moment with my family and not just constantly thinking about what I should be working on. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't heard of Rescue Time before, I'd love it if you give it a try. Be sure to tell them I sent you because you know that's gonna be some fun conversations in the company. Um, otherwise, check out my other time tracking videos up here, some other cool productivity stuff here, and then till next time, bye. Uh, okay, now we're gonna do a break here. I'm thinking maybe, a, well, you figure this up. I think like a close up and just kind of like an odd face here or even, no, okay, scratch, uh, scratch, 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 scratch. Mm -hmm.